Good morning, preschool friends. It's Miss Michelle. And today we're going to start with our greeting. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? It is time to start our day. We are here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? I'm doing great and I've missed you all. So today we're going to start off with our question of the day. Have you ever eaten a gingerbread man? They're kind of cinnamon-y cinnamon and sugary, and um, you eat them around the holidays, and I put one in your learning kit. Did you eat it? If not, that's okay. Do you remember eating one, and do you like them? So since you guys aren't here with me, I'll tell you, I love them. So one person today loves them, and tomorrow I'll ask you if you like them. Okay, so let's go on to our counting of the gingerbread man. So I have my cup here. It's not very full. Do you want to see something silly that I did? I put little gingerbread faces on them. Okay, so if I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking, are there more than 10? Mm, 10's a pretty big number. It's all my fingers. I think there's less than 10. Definitely more than one or two. So let's go ahead and let's count and see how many gingerbread bears we have today. Okay, so here they are. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven gingerbread bears today. So that's less than 10 and definitely more than one or two. Excellent job counting with me today. Okay, I have a special rhyme that I wanna share with you and it's about gingerbread men. And it goes like this. So I want you to watch me first. So I'm gonna get my ginger, my big pot because I'm pretending that I'm making a gingerbread um, man. I'm gonna bake him. So I have my big pot ready. Do you have your big pot ready? And I have to have my spoon and I'm gonna pretend I'm holding a spoon. Okay, and this is how it goes. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with a rolling pin, up and down. And I pretend I have a cookie cutter. Cut it with a cookie cutter, make some little men. Put them in the oven till half past 10. Want to try it again? And you can try with me. So get your big pot ready. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with a rolling pin, up and down. Cut it with a cookie cutter, make some little men. Put it in the oven till half past 10. That's so fun. And here's my, my, my little rhyme, and there's my little gingerbread man that I colored. Okay, what do you guys think about doing a little bit of a movement? I have a special movement today, and it's going to be gingerbread man dance and freeze. I'm going to share my screen with you. And I want to see you up and dancing. Here we go. Do the floss, 
Do the floss. This Michelle doesn't quite know how to do it. Do the floss. 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 Okay, so here we go. The next thing that we're gonna do is we need to calm down because I'm like, my heart rate's going like this. So let's take our five deep breaths. So put your five fingers up, and when you breathe in and blow out, you should blow out your candles. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five. I'm feeling much better, are you? Excellent. Okay, so today we're gonna do um, a little read aloud, and it's about the gingerbread man, of course. And so I wanna make sure that when I have the book, I'm gonna open it so everything's not, it's, I don't want it to be upside down, I wanna be able to see the picture, correct? And I'm gonna take a look at the title and the picture first. So I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see a little better. So here's my book. And I see the title right away. The title is usually pretty big on the page. So let's see, there's one, two, three words. I see a really long word and it's called the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man. Oh, and there's that illustration or the picture that tells us what this is gonna be about. So I think it's gonna be about a gingerbread man and it looks like we're gonna bake him in an oven. This is an oven that cooks food. So let's go, come along with me and let's, let's see what happens. The gingerbread man jumped off the pan. Whoop, that's silly. Cookies shouldn't jump off pans. This tells me it's a fake or a fiction book. He ran out the door. Can you run? Urgh, how fast he is. And he said, these are called quotation marks. This is where we know he's talking. When you see these like little things that kind of look like um, two, just two little lines. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> Let's see where he went. He ran past the pig, P pig. Oh, he's, he's talking again. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, let's see. He ran past the cow. Moo. Oh, he's talking again. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> that silly gingerbread man. Oh, he's going to run past somebody else. He ran past the horse. Run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. You know what animal this is? This is Mr. Williams' favorite animal. He met a fox. He looks a little nervous about that fox. Can Fox help the gingerbread man? Look, the fox is giving him a ride. And this is water. He actually came to a pond and everyone was chasing him. So the fox was trying to give him a ride across the pond, but look what he did. No, Fox ate the gingerbread man. Yum, yum, he said. The end. And this was the little old woman and the little old man that baked him. And they're like, oh, he got eaten. Oh man, <laughs> excuse me. Thank you for saying bless you. Okay, so that was our story. It was a short story and I hope you enjoyed it with me. Um, and all this week we're gonna be reading different kinds of gingerbread man stories. So I hope you really like that one.
Okay, we have two more things to do today. So we are talking about a new letter this week, and our letter of the week is G. And the reason I picked that letter is because it's the first letter in the word j, j, gingerbread. Now this actually has two sounds. It usually says j, but it could say g. Um, and so G has two sounds, g and j. So depending on the word, sometimes we have to change how we, we say it. Um, so again, this is the letter G. Now I'm going to show you some words that begin with the, the G sound. So G. So this one begins with the G sound. G, G, goldfish. G, G, goat. G, G, gifts. And G, G, guitar. So those ones, those words all had the G sound and gingerbread had the j sound. Excellent. So the rest of the week, we're gonna be talking about g and g and j. And um, tomorrow, I need you guys to bring your writing book so that we can actually practice writing it. Because where do we start our letters? At the top, right? And this one's just the same. We're gonna practice writing it at the top. And this is a curvy line. And I saw a lot of you have been working on your curvy lines. And it just has one straight line here. Um, so we're going to do that tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get a movement in. We're going to do our alphabet dance, and, and then I'll share my favorite thing that we did today. Are you ready? Let me get um, our alphabet song up, and I want to see you guys moving. Get Kids music too. Here we go. I want to see you all moving. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, X, Y, Z. I can sing my ABCs. Lots of fun for you and me. Okay, this time listen for that G. Go ahead and put your hands on your chest. Let's just take three deep breaths before I tell you about my favorite things today. One, two, three, excellent. Okay, so my favorite thing that I got to do today, I really, really enjoyed the gingerbread man story, but my favorite thing was our rhyme that we did. Um, do you want to do it one more time before we leave? Get your bowl ready. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with a rolling pin up and down. Cut it with a cookie cutter, make a little man. Put them in the oven till, till half past 10. 
Excellent. And see, I'm still learning it too. So sometimes I make a little bit of mistakes, but we'll learn it together the rest of this week. Man, I really enjoyed our time together. So let's go ahead and get our waving hands up. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. And then I give you my big heart hands. Oh, because I love you guys so much. And I can't wait <clears throat> to see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.